Hello and welcome back to Sci Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a programmable Arduino Nano RGB NeoPixel LED light bulb with using a few simple components. And this device, you can be able to reprogram it to change the animation of the LEDs. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is an old LED light bulb, three strands of the WS2812 NeoPixels, a total of nine LEDs, a nine volt battery, a nine volt battery clip, a push button switch, and a push button lock switch, and an Arduino Nano. You're also going to need this wooden board, which will be the housing and support for this LED light bulb. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project, and let's get started. First, what I need to do is open up this LED light bulb, and what I need to do is remove this top piece first. Open it up, just like this. And there, you have a circuit inside that I need to remove. Some parts may be salvageable. Next, I'm gonna take some measurements because I wanna fit a platform inside to be able to place a circuit inside. And I'm gonna use this old failed 3D print and recycle it so that that way I can use this as my platform to place a circuit on top of. Next, I'm gonna go and hollow out this LED light bulb by removing this unnecessary circuit. Some components on the circuit, such as this capacitor and a few other little surface mount components may be useful for future projects. Worth salvaging. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it out, just like this. And there, now the LED light bulb is now hollowed. Next, I'm gonna take some scissors and cut this 3D printed platform. Next, I want to solder 10 the leads that's on these NeoPixel strips. And there, all three strands are now solder tinned. Next, I'm going to take some super glue and glue down these LED strips onto the platform. Next, I'm going to take some wire and connect all three of these LED strips. I'm going to connect ground to ground, 5 volts to 5 volts, and digital out to digital in. And there, all three LED strips are now connected. Next, I'm going to take this LED housing, and then take the Arduino Nano and place it inside. Place it in just like this. Make a little mark so that way I can make a little hole inside of the housing so that way I connect the USB connection to reprogram the Arduino Nano. Take a soldering iron and make a little mark. There we go, a little mark on the outside so that way I know where to make a drill hole. Scrape it off so it's smooth. There we go, a tiny hole. Make it a little bit bigger. And now I can take the stepper drill to make the appropriate size hole. Next, what I need to do is make the hole a little bit bigger and angle it a little bit. So that way, I can be able to plug in the USB connector. And there, it connects just like that. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take this push button switch and it goes right here, just above this hole. Make a little mark with the soldering iron. Take the stepper drill and make the new hole. And there we go, perfect fit. And I'll repeat the same process with the push button lock switch and I'm gonna place it right here. And there we go, just like that. Next, I'm gonna tack out this electrical connection point. There we go, just like that. And it comes off just like this. 
perfect. And there we go, that's perfect. And now as you can see, I already have a little hole inside. Next, I'm gonna tack a pilot hole in the center of this board. And now I'll take the stepper drill and drill the appropriate size hole. And this is where the 9 volt battery connection is going to go. Goes through this hole of the board, and now through the LED light bulb. And there, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the Arduino Nano, and I want to connect the 9 volt battery connection to it. I want to take the positive wire and connect it to VIN, which is voltage in, and the voltage input of an Arduino Nano is between 7 to 12 volts. Solder it into place. And now take the negative wire and connect it to ground. Solder it into place. Next, I'm going to take this push button switch and connect it to the Arduino Nano. I'm going to connect one of the wires over to ground. And the other wire over to D2, which is digital pin 2. Solder it into place. Next, I'm going to connect the NeoPixels to the Arduino Nano. And I'm going to use these three wires to connect to the circuit. Yellow wire connects to the digital pin. Red wire connects to 5 volts. Black wire connects to ground. Yellow wire connects to D6, which is digital pin 6. Solder it into place. Red wire to 5 volts. Solder it into place. And now, solder tin the negative wire, and solder it to the common ground, which is on top of this ground wire, since there is no other grounds in this circuit. Solder it into place, just like that. And now, let's go test it out by taking the 9 volt battery, connect it to the circuit, and there, as you can see, it works. Excellent. Next, I'm going to take some Neo Mini magnets and place it onto the 9 volt battery. Place it on just like this. And I'll take a small amount of hot glue and place it on top of each Neo Dominion magnet. There we go, just like that. And I'll take the entire thing and stick it to the board. Press it down firm. Next, I'm going to take some cute pieces of wood and place it onto the board. I want to place it right here. Not right here on the side because I don't want to see it. I want to place it in the inside so that way it gives it proper support and it'll make the board look like it's floating. Take some hot glue and glue it into place. And now if I wanted to change the battery, all I have to do is just lift up the battery just like this, magnet stay in place, and replace the battery and it'll stick in place like that. Next I'm going to cut the positive input wire and I decide to cut it right here just like this. And I'll take these two wires and stick it through this hole. Both of them, just like that. And now remove the insulation. Solder tin the push button lock switch. Solder tin the positive wires. And I'll solder in the positive wires to the push button lock switch. Next, take some hot glue to insulate the exposed wires and to glue down the switch. And now, take some super glue and glue down the switch for extra security. Switch it on, and as you can see, it works. Now, what I need to do is modify the Arduino Nano. This red LED is a little bit too bright, so what I'm going to do is take some electrical tape and cover up that LED, so then that way it doesn't interfere with the other LEDs and ruin the effect. Now I'm going to go and take the push button switch and place it into its hole. Next, carefully take some super glue and glue down the switch. Put a very light amount of super glue and only glue down the corners. If you put too much, you'll risk gluing down the switch and then it won't work. Spray some activator and there, it is now stayed in place. And as you can see, the push button switch works. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue to glue down the switch and to make it more secure and to insulate the exposed connections. Next, I'm going to take the Arduino Nano and put it into place. Take some hot glue and glue it into place. 
There we go, just like that. Next, I'm going to take the LED panel and place it into the housing. There we go, place it in, modify it just a little bit more. And there we go, fits in just like that. Take some hot glue and glue it into place. There we go, just like that. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and glue it down on the base of the LED light bulb. There we go, stand it up just like this. And now take some more hot glue and glue it on the bottom of this wire, so then that way the wires don't move. Next, I'm going to take some more hot glue and glue it down on the base of this LED light bulb to give it some extra strength and support. And there we go, nice and strong. Next, I'm going to take some super glue and put it on the perimeter of this LED light bulb. There we go, just like that. Spray some activator and now place the dome on top, just like that. And there you have it, the project is now complete. Turn it on, and as you can see, it works. Now, let's see how this looks in the dark. Ah, as you can see, this looks very beautiful, very mesmerizing, and very relaxing. And now, I'm going to show you how to get the code. Open up your Arduino program, click on File, scroll down to Examples, and now scroll down to Adafruit NeoPixel, and then click on strand test and a new window will open up expand it and this right here is the code that you're going to need to program your arduino nano with but first you need to do some slight modifications as you can see the led pin is the signal pin which is pin 6 or d6 on the arduino nano and the quantity of the leds need to change this right here default is 60 and i have nine leds so just simply change it to nine and there you have it and there you have it now you know how to make your very own programmable arduino nano rgb neopixel led light bulb with using a few simple components thank you for watching scitai tech i hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future scitai tech videos to the next tech goodbye